Hello there, Prospective Chief Petty Officers. My name is Master Chief Rashawn Morris, the First District Reserve Command Master Chief. Thank you for this opportunity to be able to share some words of wisdom. I wish I could be there in person, but I feel like this is the next best thing. And once you like my video, I can send you some words of wisdom. So feel free to do that. Put your name in the uh, underneath your comments and I will make sure I get some words of wisdom to you. But I did want to take advantage of this opportunity just to share some tidbits that I've kind of gained along the way, uh, particularly when it pertains to leadership. One of the things that I would say off the bat is being willing to step out of your comfort zone. One quote that I heard last year as I was helping out with the Chiefs Academy was, there's no comfort in the growth zone and there's no growth in the comfort zone. So stepping outside of your comfort zone, I would say is essential. One of the things that I gained through the Chiefs Academy uh, was in relation to comfort zone as well. For those of you that have gone through the Chiefs Academy, you may remember the low rope and high rope exercises. They weren't particularly enjoyable for me as I was uh, uh, attempting to step way outside of my comfort zone. One of the things that motivated me in stepping outside of my comfort zone was the fact that I had just written a paper about how meaningful the Chiefs Academy was for me. And now I'm facing uh, these high ropes and I've just written this paper that says, the Chiefs Academy has enabled me to face my fears and I love the things that I've gained and I'm ready for the next step. And now I have the high ropes in front of me. So uh, to attempt to not be a hypocrite in my words, I did some things that were extremely horrifying and scary for me. But one of the biggest things that I walked away with that experience was the day of graduation. One of the instructors sat down with all of us. And one of the things that she said was, think about those high rope exercises. And I envisioned myself standing on top of the telephone pole. And then she said, now I want you to think about life. And then she left this quote with us that has stayed with me for all these years. She said, the distance is so far from where I am to where I want to be, but because of all that I may become, I will close my eyes and leap. There's a successories picture out there with a sailboat out on the water. And it says, you will never discover new oceans unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. That's where the growth happens. It's scary, it's not fun, it's not always easy. Most of the time it isn't easy. Sometimes the best lessons are the hardest ones, but that's where the growth happens and that's where you step out. And once you step out and do something very, very fearful that you've never done before, you start to get comfortable, then it's time to step out again. You start to get comfortable, then it's time to step out again. And the last thing I'll leave you with, <clears throat> excuse me, is in regards to leadership, it's so important to be authentic. It's so important to be genuine. And it's so important to care about your people. I think the thing that you're probably going to hear the most, uh, which is typically what you hear the most, and maybe you won't at this time for you, but Take care of your people, take care of your people, take care of your people. I can't, I can't emphasize that enough how important that is. And the ripple effects of effective leadership when you care about your people and they know that you care about your people is huge. I'll go back to a story of my own and then I will close. As I was 13 and a half years in, on active duty, well, not quite 13 and a half. I left, coast, I left active duty at the 13 and a half year mark, but the deciding factor was me for me was a horrible experience in childcare. Uh, my daughter, unfortunately, was shaken in childcare and we almost lost her. She had multiple trauma to her brain. We didn't know at one point whether she was gonna live. During this horrifying time in my life, this is the time where I need my supervisor to shine. This is the time where I need my command support. I don't need the support when life is great. I need the support when life is hard. And these guys were phenomenal. They were the epitome of what good leadership looks like when people care about who they support. Unfortunately, a few years later, the CO, the sector commander that I worked for, he was relieved. He wasn't relieved for doing something horrible, but it definitely was a question of leadership. And I certainly don't defend his choice. However, the thing that he did 
never changed in one bit what I thought of him as a person and what I thought of him as a leader. And the reason was, is because he took care of me. One of the things that I learned from that experience was, even when you make mistakes, and this senior leader did make a mistake, it wasn't an egregious mistake, but it definitely was a mistake. It was a misjudgment. It never changed how I thought about him as a leader. Even when you take care of people, when you support people, even when you make a mistake, you will find that they will be a lot more supportive of you and a lot more forgiving of you because they know that you care about them. One of the quotes from Maya Angelou is, people may not remember what you say, people may not remember what you do, but they will remember how you made them feel. And one of the quotes that I will close with is a quote that I have at the bottom of my signature page. I don't have it on my signature page on Outlook for Others. I have it more so there for myself. And it says, may it be said when the sun sets on your life that you made a difference. I hope that each of you will gain a lot from this experience and go on to share it with other PCPOs that come in behind you. And I hope that your goal above everything else will be to be difference makers in the lives of those that you serve. Thank you so much for your time. Good luck to all of you and God bless.